My name is Fidelis Bonaventure Ozoma. Welcome to Deploy with Fidelis. It's such a pleasure to be having this conversation with you and I'm happy to be giving you the top tips on applying and winning the $5,000 to Nunimilu Entrepreneurship Grant. It's often said that information is power and some of the most powerful people are some of the most resourceful people and the most resourceful people are of course the most influential people it's a pleasure to be here if you're joining me for the first time please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and of course leave a comment below after this conversation my goal here basically is to continue to democratize opportunities make uh, you access to information easy I have won many fellowships, I have won many grants, and my intention here is to continue to provide opportunities and information for anyone who wants to apply for any of these things. So welcome on board and let's um, journey through this wonderful, wonderful session. Um, so basically that is me. I have facilitated a couple of workshops. I have done this in a couple of years, in 2017 specifically, I won the TEF grant. And uh, me and many other colleagues, it was a wonderful day for us, wonderful session, and we decided to give back. This is us going to train entrepreneurs on how to go about the application and how to win. And it will be very interesting to know that a lot of people, as a result of our training and workshop, you know, have gotten into the TEF program. So many of them have, you know, had access to the grant. Some of them, so many of them have have started a business some are even doing extremely well and being able to access a lot of funds so this application basically would put you will put you through the process of how to access it and will take you through the journey of having one of some of the best time in this uh, in this program so basically what is Tony Nibeli Entrepreneurship Foundation program about so the TEF program is run by the Tonidimilu Foundation rather, and basically is an African non-profit organization that is based in Lagos and founded in 2010 by Tonidimilu himself and is headquartered of course in Nigeria. Um, so the foundation believes that with the right support, entrepreneurs all over Africa can be empowered basically to contribute meaningfully to Africa's prosperity and social development so there are many in a couple of initiatives under the Tony Nimelu foundation but there's the one we call the Tony Nimelu entrepreneurship program and that one basically empowers entrepreneurs all over the continent so that they can become um, equipped to, to deploy you know their solutions to the world this is the founder his name is Tony Nimelu I was literally at the forum here and again when you get to win this um, post COVID I don't know if there'll be a, like a real time forum but this was us during our forum and he gave the keynote speech i was right here and here there were many many leaders from all over the country all over the continents um, who came and were highly represented it was a huge um, panel session there were huge panel sessions there were speaking sessions there was a lot of talks there was a lot of uh, wonderful talks on you know entrepreneurship on um, investments on funding on raising capital just name it so it was a very wonderful session and hopefully when you get into the program these are the kind of um, opportunities you would have access to he the man himself access to a lot of people in his network access to a lot of markets access to a lot of funding in the african landscape um, so if you're thinking of applying for this, there are a couple of criteria that is needed to do this. The first is the program is open to all citizens and legal citizens, you know, of um, any of the 54 countries in Africa. So if you reside in Africa or you are a citizen of any of the African countries, whether you're living in diaspora or not, it doesn't matter. As far as you have a legal tie to your African country, you are definitely, um, um, you, you fit in to, to apply for this. Next is um the program basically is looking for business ideas and basically must be for profits and of course it must be the original work of you who is submitting it you don't want to you know get ideas that are not yours this has to be something that you're deeply passionate about i repeat it's a business idea they mostly fund business ideas right so it, it doesn't matter whether or not you have a business structure whether you have founded a business whether you've registered it or not it doesn't matter if you have a good business that can solve problems that can make profits that can improve lives that can disrupt the african entrepreneurship landscape you're worthy enough to apply for this of course um next is it must be within 
zero to five years you know it should be an early stage some say zero to three but i think it's been extended to three zero to five years so even if you started a business and it's between this age range um of of course it's an early stage you you qualify for the program and as i said it must be for profits um yeah so we will next slide so the first thing is that there are a couple of benefits you know to this i i, I have i have had this conversation with a couple of friends of mine they were like what is in for me when you join this program the first is you have access to mentoring some from some of the best business experts in the continent they connect you to some of uh, people who have over 10 or 15 years industry experience to help you fine-tune your ideas it's like business coaching basically so you don't have to have figured it out and that's why they probably really like you to have it at the idea phase or at the early stage so that it will be easy to receive mentorship so you have access to mentoring when you get into this program next is of course you have access to the startup enterprise toolkit the startup enterprise toolkit is a full-fledged business training that gives you all the entrepreneurship trainings um, the mindset the skill sets the hard sets to be able to do well as an entrepreneur in this journey next is you have of course access to online resources and these online resources are things that are not just about ideas yeah it's basically about information but more you have access to you know um more grants more opportunities you have access to um research on the specific area that you're working on, on entrepreneurship and thought leadership articles that will help you in your entrepreneurial journey the next is there will be meetups um if you saw the other picture i shared yeah those were, were like one of the meetups we have different entrepreneurs in different aspects of the continent and within each country there are hubs right so i think once in a month or once in two months depending on how the hub is you know administrating itself there are always meetups here and there so these are some of the benefits you have because it's a network of people you get to meet you get to build things together you get to connect with some of the brightest and the most um smart entrepreneurs on the continent of course you have the tony Lumelu entrepreneurship forum um the tony Lumelu entrepreneurship forum basically gives you access it's it's a two to five days um boot camp and training where they bring thought leaders um presidents of different countries um international business experts business coaches tony Lumelu himself comes with all his friends and of course i think as of last year the the president of a couple, about three or four countries came for the last tier forum so trust me it is a huge it is like the climax of the program that is where you actually get to meet with all the entrepreneurs you get to meet with business coaches you get to meet with your mentor you get to meet with tony Lumel himself and the acts you have access to some of the best people in the continent so it is it is something that is worth applying for it is something that you should look forward to then of course the seed capital i know a lot of people are thinking about the money but there is so much but in true true you know there's the five thousand dollars you have access to and it is a seed capital it is non-refundable that means that it is all yours when you get it you don't have to pay anything back you just it, it's an investment in your business in your thoughts in your ideas in your in your solution so you have access to that when you get into the program and of course the next is you have the tef entrepreneurship program program alumni network i am an alumni or alumnus of the program and i have a network of i think currently there are over seven thousand alumnus or alumni rather in the continent and what that means is that we get to do business with each other we have we have access to resources we get to do stuff together and the beauty is that the fact that you're a TEF in this country means that you can also meet another TEF in another country to collaborate and do stuff together and beyond that a lot of the TEF um, alumni right now are doing a lot of good in the world deploying solutions you know having access to more grants and more opportunities building businesses building becoming captains of industry these are the people you would have access to when you come and join this program so um yeah that's that's basically what it is yeah you have access to mentoring you have access to the startup enterprise toolkit you have online resources you know you are you have meetups the forum itself seed capital of five thousand dollars and of course the alumni network next is of course this is just it's, well i'm sure you have seen this but this is what it looks like when you come for the forum the alumni is something like this very happy choice 
you know, joyful, gay people, people who are very cheerful about life, who are very excited about the change they're bringing to the world. And as you can see, this is a representation from different countries, you know, and that's what it looks like, right? Um, but of course, it's way, way, way more than this. But this was just a picture to give you um, what it looks like, the network, the, the relationship that is built as a result of being part of this. The structure. Now, I, I really want to take us through the structure of what the program looks like, right? And this is for those who are really, really interested in applying for this program. The first is you have the application phase. And of course, when you get, when you qualify after the application phase, you get to the training and mentorship phase. And this year has been made to be very different from every other, of other, every other year. Post-COVID, things are now done virtually. So you have the application phase where you start your application, you log in, you put in your password, you set up your, you know, your profile then there's a test that you're going to take it's a psychometric and um personality test and that test basically is the core of this talk or the core of this um webinar basically all right um after that you will qualify to go into training and mentorship you have business training and you'll be attached to a mentor the next is you'll be um required to write a business plan and you must submit that business plan mind you you don't have to know how to do this when you go through the training and through the mentorship program it will give you the best models the best trainings you need to write a very good business plan after that there'll be a pitching phase and that's why for because the program is different this year the pitching phase is also to determine whether or not you are the original idea founder of this you are the real person you are the person who has this idea and more importantly they want to test if you are also very very entrepreneurial and you are driven and you want to really deploy solutions so the pitching phase makes competition um very interesting yeah so it's not like there is actually easy access to the money it's after you have done your business plan you have pitched excellently well and then you have the access to the seed capital and that's where they begin to need um things like you going to register the business you know um you know open a corporate account um doing all those due diligence so that they can pay the money directly to your business account so this is the most important part of the of the of this whole talk is the psychometric test because this test will determine whether you go to the next phase or not all right so i think that anybody who is interested in applying for this year's tony Miller entrepreneurship program must be ready to take the psychometric test and the psychometric test basically is divided into the cognitive test which test your mind and the personality test all right and the goal of this test is not to test whether your ideas are good or not no it is to test you so it's an investment in the entrepreneur because it is believed that when we invest in people people can invest in businesses right so this test will determine whether or not you're going to go next to the you're going to you know qualify for the next stage and um, this is very very important if you don't pass this test you don't get to the next stage and you'll be invited to apply again next year so the first thing is that it is basically meant to test your entrepreneurial competence right so this test is built basically to make sure that your entrepreneurial competence is like on point you know And next, okay, next thing is it is meant to also test your business acumen. Note that when you have your entrepreneurial competence, it means that you have the resilience, you have the leadership to solve problems, but not everybody has the business acumen, right? You must be able to know your numbers, right? You must be able to understand the basics of arithmetic, right? So that is what the psychometric test is meant to to bring out to you so already get your mind prepared for this and hopefully this will uh, position you to succeed in this test the next of course is to test your leadership skills as i said the psychometric test is divided into the personality test and the cognitive test this the personality test will test your leadership skills it is basically determined and designed to see whether you have the are you someone who takes initiative are you someone who you know wants to come up with an idea and get the idea um to the final stage are you somebody who is a self-starter do you believe in solving problems do you believe in working in teams right so that is what this thing should is, is basically desired and um, designed to test so my quick tip for you is when you look at these three metrics and you see all the all the answers and all the options given to you note something it is testing your leadership skill it is testing your entrepreneurial competence and it is testing your business acumen now these are for me the tips that have i've advised people to use these tips and they all aced it in this test there will be three major categories that you'll be um put into when you pass the test the first is the startup the other category is the innovate 
I think one is a startup, one is the innovator, and one is the disruptor, right? I always propose that people should try and get into the disruptor category because that way you have access to advanced training. But I think when you get into the innovator and startup phase, you will just have to take mid, maybe medium or you know trainings that are just at the minimal level. But I think that most people should target disruptor because it means that you really did well at the test. If you do not pass the test, you'll be advised to go take some trainings and you know, advice to apply next year, right? So this test is going to help you. It has helped a couple of people I gave um, these tips to and hopefully it's going to help you. So let's dive into it. First, be time conscious, okay? Be very time conscious. It is for five minutes. I can tell you that you don't have to exhaust the whole 45 minutes, right? Because the questions are just basically there to help you determine whether or not you are, you are fit for the program next is avoid distractions whenever you're taking the test it's like GRE or IELTS for some of you that have taken some of these beautiful tests and exams right avoid distractions do not be around anywhere that would because you need your thinking you need to get uh, your mind alert and it's it's basically 45 minutes after that 45 minutes you don't have any other option so get ready for that um, I would say choose average answers especially when it comes to the personality test so you have answer a b c d e that is agree no strongly agree disagree um neither agree nor disagree um disagree strongly disagree i would say generally that people should avoid extreme answers like strongly agree or strongly disagree right let your answers be within that average either between agree um, agree or not agree or disagree right um, extremities isn't the best when it comes to this anyway that that's one advice I've given to most people and it helps them next is have a basic knowledge of arithmetic when you're doing the cognitive test you're gonna need your calculator and you're gonna be doing a lot of problem solving all right so I would advise that you have some basic knowledge of arithmetic I don't know if there's a way you can test for this before you take the test but be, get your mind aligned that's why I said you need to be time conscious you need to avoid distractions you need to choose um, average answer and of course have the basics the basics of arithmetic then the next is critical thinking critical thinking is the art of being able to deduce between what is and what is not right ability to quickly detect what logically flows so they will ask you questions like you know two plus four equals to eight dash minus nine equals to this therefore what is this and this right so you will see patterns then with critical thinking you'll be able to know um, where you need to fix one pattern or the other you will see all those questions there some are in boxes some are in word form some are just meant to test your ability to think right so i would propose that you put up your critical thinking cap and trust me this is going to be super helpful for you um yeah so those are like the the beautiful tips i have for you i wish you all the best and good luck in this application do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you need any other question if you have worries or stuff try to chat it or type it on the chat box all right i'll find time to reply whenever i want to okay i wish you the very best and cheers bye